Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Last time we were finishing up some uh, odds and ends around Corel. So today, I think... Um, let's take one, one last look around here first. Uh, I want to go... Can we go out this way? We can. I want to, I just want to see if there's anything, I don't think there's anything else. I don't know. Maybe we can go that way. I don't know. Let's find out. I, I just don't want to make, I want to, dude, English, do you speak it? I just want to make sure we're not missing anything, leaving anything behind. Before we move on, I don't think there's anything else we can do. I think this is specifically for the side quest. I mean, there's no, there's no towers or anything here. Those are over there. That would be the gold saucer. And I'm assuming this is impassable. Impassable or impossible? Both. Well, let's, let's see if this, uh, if we can actually go down. This, this may be side questy for later. I think I see what's going on here. I also want to make sure we don't miss any monsters. Yeah, they, they got the line of sticks there. We can't go past that. You can't swim any further. Yeah. Yeah, so this is impassable for now. So I guess that means we're going back here and we're going to proceed with the story. Um, Where are we, first of all? So we got to go this away. So I don't think there's anything we can do with Chadley. I must be excited to see your progress. Yeah, no, we don't have any... Any points? I hope you won't mind my mention, but I've um, yeah, and we got everything here. That side quest that we have, uh, the outstanding side quest is the the Tonberry one from Johnny. Oh, well, I think we have to go up for this. Yeah, there it is. Gold saucer. Alright, let's go. Ooh, do we got anything in here? Nothing! You know, the music in this area really has some, like... Strong Crisis Core vibes. And it's not a bad thing. Ready? Then let's get a move on. Yep. Let's do it. Okay, so they say you can't return for some time. That means we can't... This will take us all the we way can't to the not come back. Hey, and um, I'll say... Talk to you like that. The gold saucer has some very, very strong Let's Final Fantasy VIII Garden, garden vibes him. coming off so of that. Tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. <laughs> Calm down, Yuffie. I told you, I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? 
They were talking like you sold them out for money, but I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? Oh, you hit a nerve. Ooh, do we get to play a flashback sequence? Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. Yeah, that's got some serious garden vibes. With like the, the rings and everything. We were Oh, all right, happy. six years earlier. Covered in soot and porous dirt. But none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Marco and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. You betcha. <laughs> So now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mine. Oh, this is going to be great. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dine. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? It is so weird seeing Barrett with both hands. If I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Kind of makes me wonder if, if Barrett's story led to him having both hands, what he would do for weapons. Like if he would be more of a Vincent type with like an actual gun or if he'd more, be more of like a brawler like Tifa. A better life than what we have. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we going to let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We going to let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? It, it's kind of funny that like you would have never guessed this would be Barrett's backstory but it explains why he's so angry at like Shinra and everything they do two years later the reactor was finished and the trial run went off without a hitch everyone was ecstatic Convinced it was the dawn of a new era. And if you know what's coming next, oh man, am I excited about that. I cannot wait to see how that scene plays out. Oh boy. Y'all saw the aftermath. Yeah, and what lurks beneath. And then, Shinra King into town burned everything innocent people in their homes was that scarlet it was wasn't it yeah that bitch <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it why burn the whole town to craft a story that it was all the work of a local insurgent group. But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lie right through their teeth. What a shocker. Murderers. And, and, they are. we see that Shinra still yeah. played that same game when the, uh, with their, their fun and games 
with uh, bringing the plate down on uh, Sector 7 for the and like the, the reactors in Midgar being blown up, here. blaming it on a terrorist <laughs> organization, blaming it on Wu-Tai. So to know that like for at least the last six years they've been playing the same um, blame it on the insurgents kind of card is uh, it's consistent with Shinra. Kind of goes a, a good way in furthering what kind of corporation they actually are. Is this really how it's going to be? Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever. The Gold Saucer. Huh? So turn those frowns upside down. <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Maybe you should lighten up a little bit, Barrett. Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. <laughs> Glad to see we're all on the same page. Yep, everyone but you, Barrett. Sounds like Barrett is the only one who has to turn his frown upside down. All right, chapter eight. Oh, here we go. Look, 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 look. Something's coming. Nice touch. They just, they went all out. Do they have like fireworks going there all day, every day? <laughs> Notice Barrett put his glasses back on. Once we left Corral, Barrett had his glasses off, and in the uh, in the, uh, the the cart there, he had them off. And then you get in here, and all of a sudden, Barrett's got his glasses back on. Shows you a little something about Barrett's insecurities. Whoa, we can climb on the control panels. You looking to come have fun? Come on, man. Come ride some rides. Can we shop at the vending machine? Clear icicle. I think it's hilarious. You come in in the staff room. Nah, hands off, bro. That's my materia. All right, a healing materia. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Oh, we can't hit the boxes. I love how they're just, they just like left, like, looks like sushi there, but it, it could be like cookies and stuff and desserts. I'm going to say it's probably desserts. Yeah. Yeah, because those, those kind of look like frosted Twinkies. <laughs> Let's see. Make sure we do, there's no like weapon chests in here that we missed or anything. Oh, there was a door on this side. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Barrett Wallace. 
Eva Lockhart and Cloud Strife. Look at them. Look! Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? That's lab rat dog. They're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? No, because I that's about as much as you're qualified to run, Palmer. <laughs> Such a slimy little greaseball, that guy. Cloud, the others are waiting. I really love how they integrated the robed guys all over the game. They're literally everywhere. Aw, oh, we can't go up? You know, so far, this area kind of reminds me of... Um, oh, I don't remember what it's called. It's that area from Final Fantasy XIII. Where... Um, you go there and you're playing a Saz and Vanille, it, it feels very gold saucer there, but the way they redid this, I, I feel like they might have had that in mind this when they when they were making area. this. Access is reserved for guests ah. and their companions. Desert parking, huh? Sure thing, Koopo. Just gonna sneak by you there. Excuse us, coming through. <laughs> oh, nice! You know, I really love the incorporation of the... It, it seems to be a Scottish accent. <laughs> they just magically know what to do. You know, I feel like the people who developed this have a strange infatuation with, like, dance scenes. I don't know if they're just trying to appeal to, like, a more niche audience that wouldn't have been necessarily interested in this otherwise, but... <laughs> poor Yuffie's like, what do I do? What do I do? My poor eyes! God. Well, Cloud. This guy's got no do? chill. Mm. 
Let's go. Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? I love that they included the Scottish accent. You can do this, Cloud. Oh, is this going to be a button sequence? Oh my god! Oh, it's this! What, they're ha having a polygon hologram duel off? Dance off? Tutorial. How prudent. Well. Come on. All right. Well. Come on. All right. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, okay, you have to do it right as they do it. Okay. That's a little awkward. Well. Oh, we missed. Wow, I'm really bad at this. Well. Wrong stick. There we go. This is going to take me a while to get used to. Let's see if you have what it takes, young man. Probably not. Oh, we missed. Ah, oh, too slow. Here we go. Okay, so that wasn't that bad. It seems like this is... I feel like this is going to be... Like a first one to the... Li first one to fill the limit gauge wins kind of deal. We'll see this minigame, I think, later. Which is why they went pa like through a painstaking tutorial like that with a, with a uh, practice round. Cause like the 3D brawler, that was that was one of like the main things you could do in the gold saucer. Let's give our worthy contender another thunderous round of applause. Not just a regular one, a thunderous one.
I feel like this this big burly guy is well a little clingy. Thanks. <laughs> a small token of my thanks. One golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. <laughs> cool. Seriously, Yuffie's got a pop star outfit now. <clears throat> That's actually hilarious. Oh, this this place is gonna be wild. Oh my god, it's huge! Nicely done. Oh, Aerith, don't even go there. <laughs> Probably a sign. Okay, I, I need to look around a little bit. Fine, we'll continue on with the story. What the hell is wrong with those guys? It won't last. What? Lock it. When it's gone, so is this. Where did that come from? Paraphrasing you. I cannot run. But I get your point. Live it up like you can. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, cool! Hover floors! Oh, yes, please. You know, if I could live here, I would. This is this is the perfect place, the perfect hotel. This is such a cool place. <laughs> Calm down, dude. You can believe this shit. This is what the planet's dying for. This is why we're bleeding our dry. Look. 
look at it. Look! All of it, Mako! Siphoned straight from the live stream! From our veins! Hey, get a grip. Here, a man with a rain cloud over his head. <laughs> so, how about a reading to clear those somber skies? Whether it be dark or bright, I'll read your future light. Just let me go shoot in the messenger. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> <Psycho -toy. laughs> no, Barrett, it's a fortune telling machine. <laughs> Eyes up here. <laughs> okay, Seth, fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. It's a toy, all right. Pretty life like that. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. The gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. I don't think you're going to get that from Barrett. You are not getting that from Barrett. Can Someone's you join our bonnet. party? Strange. Most folks like me. Yeah, I want you on my team. I love this place. You know, I, I could just hang out in this spot and soak up the atmosphere for days and days and days. We're not gonna, but I, I could. I'm probably gonna make a save file here just so I can come hang out here. <laughs> it's so good. Anything even remotely Halloween themed, uh, it's like an instant win in my book. Instant win. Yeah, I mean, there is no explaining how great this is. Like it's, it's, it's supposed to be horror themed, but it's, it's almost like in It's almost like a in in like a childish way. It reminds me of like when I was younger and, and like the 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 feeling that you'd get when you were a kid. Well, at least when I was a kid, and you'd be like sitting there at night on like um the the weekends, and you'd see goosebumps come on, or like, are you afraid of the dark? It's that like. It's horror, but it's like hokey, if you know what I mean. The room service here is next level. A Tonberry robot delivers your food right to your doorstep. Dang, a Tonberry robot, huh? Are you going to bite me? <laughs> oh, this is great. God. Welcome, gentle sirs. What in the hell was that? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. That's gonna be really uncomfortable. Uh, got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, 
He's a he lab, lab rat dog. Very well. Now then. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. <sighs> for crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? <laughs> Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? Ah, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, a timely cancellation. <laughs> the Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Nice, nice. <laughs> it feels so good to do good. Well, right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> to the loo. Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at once, the top. Once once you figure stairs. out the deal, once you figure out what the deal is there, it makes a whole lot more sense. Okay. So with that, I think we're going to soak up some atmosphere here and we will call it a video here for now. And next time, we will head up to our rooms and then I guess explore the gold saucer, do some story stuff. We're going to have a blast here, I have a feeling. <laughs> so, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.